Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns put aside their differences and worked together to defeat the bloodline duo of Solo Sikoa and Jacob Fatu at WWE Bad Blood. After the show, Rhodes was seen arguing with his friend Kevin Owens outside the arena by the fans. Things took a dark turn when Owens started viciously attacking the undisputed WWE Champion before agents rushed to pull him away. Here are four possible reasons why Kevin Owens turned heel on Cody Rhodes after Bad Blood. Number 4. WWE tried to do something different. Kevin Owens possibly turning heel on Cody Rhodes had been brewing for weeks with subtle teases on recent episodes of SmackDown. While the gill turn was somewhat anticipated the way WWE executed, it took everyone by surprise. Instead of a typical on-air betrayal, Owens attacked Rhodes after the show and ended in the parking lot with no WWE personnel filming the incident. Instead, the only footage of the incident was captured by fans who happened to be nearby and was shared online. This unconventional move has garnered a positive reaction from fans, adding a layer of realism to Owens' heel turn and making the moment even more impactful. Number 3. A particular moment during Bad Blood might have triggered Kevin Owens to turn heel. Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes have both been feuding with Roman Reigns and the Bloodline for several years. Hence, it was difficult for him to understand why Rhodes agreed to team up with Reigns at Bad Blood. The Priz fighter was visibly upset with his friend's decision, but what transpired at the end of Bad Blood may have pushed Owens over the edge. After the tag team match, Reigns and Rhodes shared a moment of mutual respect. This could have likely enraged Owens, considering everything Reigns has done to both him and Rhodes over the years. It will be intriguing to hear Owens explain his actions on SmackDown in the coming weeks. Number 2. The Randy Orton Involvement while tensions between Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens have been escalating on SmackDown in recent weeks, Randy Orton has been playing the role of peacemaker, trying to manage the situation. However, knowing the Viper's history of deception, there's a small chance that Owens' heel turn on Rhodes might have been part of Orton's plan all along. With Rhodes now set to be distracted by his feud with Owens, this could give Orton the perfect opportunity to make his own move and position himself closer to Rhodes and the undisputed WWE Championship. Number 1. Set up massive title match for Survivor Series, War Games. All signs point to WWE having major plans for Cody Rhodes in the coming months with potential feuds against The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Randy Orton heading into the WrestleMania 41 season. However, WWE will need to ensure Rhodes maintains his momentum leading up to these marquee matchups. Triple H has already announced that the American Nightmare will challenge the World Heavyweight Champion at Crown Jewel next month. After that, there is one more premium live event before 2024 ends, Survivor Series. Kevin Owens could be the ideal opponent for Rhodes, setting up a huge program leading into the event, which is set to take place in Owens' home country of Canada. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.